So one of the simple things you can do to actually help your product be visible in Etsy search is to serve in the micro niches as opposed to targeting large demanding products. Now, when I talk about serving in micro niches, that means you definitely want to be specific and what type of product you want to create. What I like to do to make these micro niche opportunities be visible for me is to target people, professions, occasions, and seasons. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how one search phrase is actually able to help us find 500 additional micro niches we can target right now. And these micro niches are perfect for new sellers where you are able to find high demanding products in low competitive spaces and start creating products that will convert extremely well. So let's jump into my computer. I'm gonna share with you how to use Sales Samurai to find these large search volume terms, but still be in a low competitive niche so our product can be easily visible and we can target those people who want to purchase similar items. Now the main tool that we're gonna use for our entire research process is Sales Samurai. Sales Samurai is a great tool if you want to know what type of demand there is for a product and how many people are searching up key terms. This is huge because Etsy is a search-based platform. You definitely want to know what people are typing into the search bar so you can create a product based upon their interests. Now Sales Samurai was so kind to give my audience a discount code to make it easier for you to try out their software into to see if it is best for your print on demand business. I make sure I leave all the details in my description box below if you want to check this out on your own. All right, so when you get to Etsy, one of the things that we automatically want to start off with is utilizing the Etsy search bar. Now, the reason for this is that we will be able to see automatically what people are typing in. Etsy will auto populate this for us. But by utilizing the Sell Samurai Google extension tool, it will give us further information in regards to how many people are searching up a particular search term. So one of the areas, you know, I like to start off with is teacher shirt. And as you can see here, before I even finish the word, Etsy is auto populated for me, different search terms in these search terms are actually what people are typing in. However, I have additional information with Sell Samurai to know how many people are searching up this term every single month. Now, of course, the number is not you know, exact, but it does give me a great indication as into what is being typed up a lot and what is not being typed up that much. And so that's why I utilize tools like this because it gives me that extended data for me to really make my decision in regards to what product I want to target and really what keywords I want to use. So from here, we see that teacher shirts is receiving over 26,000 searches every single month. And again, I have some additional things down here. Now, when we do searches like this, we definitely want to find these micro niches where that the level of competition is extremely low. But again, there is some level of demand for the product, but we can actually go here a little bit further and see 500 plus relatable search terms that's tied to this phrase teacher shirts and what's cool about using sales samurai is that we can see all of these different search terms being searched up on etsy and we can see the additional information on the side which really allows us to do keyword research on a massive scale and start identifying these micro niches where people are searching these things up a ton and there is a low you know, area of competition so we can rank quicker and easier and start selling more of our products. So just to give you just a clear understanding of what we see here, we have the keyword here that's being typed up in the Etsy search bar. So again, this is huge for us to do this on a massive scale to see what people are typing in. We have the level of search volume here. Let us know how many people are searching this up per month, the level of competition, and the amount of words being used. I like to focus on words that has two or more words being used because that's what we call a long tail keyword. The more words we use, the more specific the product niche is and the more specific our audience will be. And that's where we will get those high conversions. So as you see here, we have multiple you know, search terms or keywords related to our initial shirt teacher shirt but again we see all type of things here that could be new niches new target areas new products we can start creating like this one here a special teacher shirt again it has 1100 searches per month and about 37,000 competitive listings now it is fair to say that 
the the competition here on Etsy does not mean every single listing is competing well. That does not mean every listing is using best practices with the keywords they're using in multiple areas in their tags, their title, in their description. It does not take into account if these shirts are actually utilizing elements that's tied to best selling products. It's not taken into account if they're using the proper mock-up photos or the proper color in their main thumbnail to drag attention to their product. It does not take into account if these listings are communicating value of their product in their images. It's not taken into account if they're using sale tactics in regards to running daily sales at a specific percent off. It does not take into account if they're using paid ads, which is going to help rank your organic listings even further. So with all that being said, you can rank in an area with 70,000 listings if you do your listings the right way and compete in a competitive space. I don't want you to get deterred if you see 30,000 listings showing up or 25,000 listings showing up or 70,000 listings showing up. You can compete in this area because all this is telling us is that there's 70,000 different listings that can make a data point to whatever search term it is. It does not mean these listings are competing well. It's just saying that the algorithm is, you know, touching on 70,000 listings with data points to the original search term teacher shirt now obviously the more lower this term is the easier it is to compete because again that's less people to compete with that's not creating a listing worthy of visibility in Etsy search so with that being said I want you to be mindful of this area here because I believe you can compete and compete well and get your product seen in Etsy search now, with that being said, we can actually filter these from highest to lowest just by pushing this button here. And as again, it's, you know, it's just taking up all this data here, letting us see what's available here. It's doing this from highest to lowest. I can click this again as well. And again, it's always filtering because our search term is so large. So again, we just wanted to do its work. But as we filter this a couple of times, you will see that again, the level of competition is low and it will gradually get high. Same thing like this here. We can do the same thing for search volume. We can do this for the lowest. And again, we can do this from the highest and see what we see as a result. Now, there's a lot of different search terms we can get into that we can really be focused on for this one here. TGIF teacher shirts. Thank goodness it's Friday. And again, we see the level of search volume and we see the level of competition. This is a great specific, you know, macro niche to serve. The level of competition is really not strong at all, but the search volume is still high. This is a great product to target. That's one I would focus on. And this is what I mean by finding these golden nuggets where you can actually start selling again. For instance, here, the VPK teacher shirt, 1100 searches per month, only 2000 competitive listings coming up not bad at all this is a great micro niche to create and start serving in and start selling in and definitely helping you focus on micro niches that's selling well again the lower the competition the higher the search volume gives you more opportunity to be visible and utilizing great keywords and some more things we're going to talk about in this video to help you convert well same thing here testing shirts for teachers 1100 searches per month and again only 5,000 or so listings coming up for the search term and again there's you know 500 plus of these potential micro niches we can actually serve in and start selling in and it's also to note that we're just in the teacher's niche we're not talking about other professions like the nurse nurse niche the doctor's niche the lawyer's niche the realtor niche you know the daycare niche there's so many different areas that we can find utilizing you know this google extension tool from sell samurai that can make our job totally easy now we can go in here and actually filter if we want to have a hyper list of particular search terms but again i think just looking at this right here lets you see the huge opportunity you may be missing if you're not utilizing a tool like sell samurai to actually find great you know micro niche products to create how you can further your business utilizing a tool like this. So as you can see, identifying search terms that are great to target is really easy to do once you download the Sales Samurai Google Chrome extension. So you can see these numbers on the side when you're searching them up on Etsy. Now, in today's video, I didn't have time to talk about how to actually get started with a on-demand business from start to finish. However, if you want to check out that next video of how to get started as a beginner, then check out this next video here. And if you want to learn more about how to make passive income online, make sure you subscribe to my channel here. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.